Kome. Yes, Peach on Shulk. And uh, SoCal versus Japan. Uh, this matchup, I think when in the past we saw Peach sort of be able to uh, sit back and just kind of wall out Yoshi. In this, in this matchup, you, uh, Peach kind of has to pressure, uh, has to do a better job of pressuring Shulk. Shulk has those big hitboxes, um, and it can be a little more difficult for Peach. Right. I mean, when you have all those disjointed hitboxes, now Peach has to respect that. She doesn't have as much control in the air as she would like to have, but yet again, once she does get in, she has such explosive combos that, oh, she accidentally saved him because she had a up B2. Oh. Yeah, I think he used his flow there, too, so he couldn't just chill. Right. And again, managed to find the fairy, waiting for the landing option, and trying to punish it, but no, it only gets met with uh, up B out of shield. Yeah, Kome, smart player, not going to give that to him that easily. Okay, yeah. fair catching the neutral getup. And again, okay, yeah. neutral B. Neutral B. And I love what he was trying to do there, because usually, like, Shulks like to be a little bit aggressive with their landings, but... Wow, fair not killing at 160. I mean, to be fair, he was, like, across stage, but still, like... That was immaculate DI from Kome's part. I'm telling you, fair sometimes. It, <laughs> it doesn't always work for you. Of course, the positional advantage Razo got from it is great. And uh, yeah, again, Razo is so great with those float, uh, float cancel back airs out of field. All right. that stock. And again, I'm catching. Oh, oh, you were about to say? I was just going to say, Razo is getting caught a lot by these FBs. I mean, it's not the fact that like he's just getting caught by it. It's just that like, if you do anything that's like not like frame negative two on the log, like Shulk is just gonna up the out of shield. Doesn't matter which side you hit him on. Like if you try to cross him up, you get up the either way. All right, and we have Razo off stage here, but he's able to reverse the situation. Okay, some kind of trade there. I, I, it looks like maybe Dare off stage, and yeah, I I I, I like the idea of what Razo's going for. He's just I mean, Schultz most likely go for those big hitboxes to control a lot of space and make uh, Peach's life difficult. But he's using the t Toad to kind of say, hey, you can't throw out these aerials for free. All right. uh, but it doesn't seem to be working out that too well for him. Kome is just not biting. He's, he's being calculated with this aggression and not just approaching him. I love what he did there. He kind of waited for Peach to come up with a get-up option, and you know, she picked Peach Bomber, and he jumped out of the way and got a bear for it, and you know, was able to take the stock that way. Okay. Also getting a grab, but uh, I see. I think if he went for back air, he's still uh, down throw. He might have been able to get uh, back air off of it, just because uh, Komei was in shield. But he probably knows this character better than I do. I mean, yet again, you basically want to get as far away from Shulk when he's in shield because he has no hit stun on any of your attacks. So he can honestly, if you hit him with a certain move, he can probably punish it with a cancel and a smash and just whack you really hard for hitting him, depending on the move that you hit him with. Yeah, that's probably something you don't want to risk the entire set on. Yet again, the quick bear out shield gets a bear. No, double jump, but you know he just lands super aggressive. And yet again, this is where Komei likes to shine in this like middle ground neutral stage where like Peach kind of has to commit something to get in. Yeah, their their spacing is so tight here. They're just kind of taking this small spa space that they have. And, right. And <laughs> just trying to find an opening. It's really great to watch. I mean, you see both players are trying to find uh, the first opportunity with the other player just like misspacing their move in order to get their kill option. There's in there, he goes in his smash, this is where he bets it all, but gets hit with the bear. He's off stage and in shield, you know what? Kind of resetting the neutral, going back in the jump. Okay, we're going right back to center stage. Right. And I love what oh. Komei does. He kind of, whoa, okay. Uh. But I as I was saying, I love what Kome does. He double jumps and then waits to see what you do. And depending on where he is with spacing and whatnot, he'll either just go back down because at that point he knows you you have to land sometime too. Or if you try to be super aggressive, he'll hit you with a fair and then get you in an even worse position. 
and that's just a great uh, place for Shulk to be because he can. Uh, he has just such huge hitboxes, and even if you try to go after him uh, while he's up in the air, he has enough time to throw out his sword and just hit you back. All right. Most characters don't want to be up there, but Shulk makes it work. Kome, in particular. All right, going into game two. Here we go. Yet again. Okay. Oh, good grab there. Uh, yeah, so Razo knowing that he would switch to shield there, use the F tilt instead because it was a safer option than only going to bear. Right. I mean, that's just good situational awareness of knowing the matchup. Just because, like, usually if Peach gets you gets a grab on you at zero, like, you're usually eating 60 to 70% free. But because Shulk has that instant, like, transition to shield, like, Razo knows that, like, hey, what I have isn't guaranteed. Let me go for something that is afterwards, you know? All right, yeah, that, I mean, Shulk Shield taking away some of uh, Peach's ability to combo, which is a lot where a lot of where this character shines. But this character also has a lot of other great things, like her aerial control. And we're seeing Razo use it to great effects. Uh, getting more of these bears and just sort of sending Kome off stage, and keeping him in a disadvantaged situation. Right. I mean, once we've seen Razo take uh, center stage and be in an advantageous, advantageous situation, we've seen that it's hard for Kome to get back. Oh, I love the that, that was really cheeky because he, he read the air dodge in, but unfortunately, just not going to scoop him up quite in time, so he doesn't find the up. Fear slash, but if that had connected, that probably would have killed. But reads the spot dodge, gets the forward smash, looking for the fair, manages to find it. Finds the fair. Yeah. yeah. Was that a side view there? That was a forward air. A forward air. Oh, okay. yeah. oh no, yeah. I mean from um, from Peach. Uh, it looked like he was tried to throw something out there. I, I think he was just trying to land. Off stage. Yeah. Burned his float, so he has to just he goes for the high up beat. Very risky, but pays off long. Well. Yeah, quick bear out shield, throws him off stage. No, how does he get the get up option? Not gonna find it. Gets hit with that, and oh my god, doesn't pull the trigger on the fair because he didn't expect him to go for that uh, really quick side beat. Yeah, Razo going for these side beats, they're punishable, and in most situations, uh, Peach has less punishable options to get back, but because Shulk is able to control that much space, it doesn't matter that Peach is very good at maneuvering, because if you get hit by that fair, you're just going to die anyway. <laughs> All right. Here we go. He's off stage yet again, but he's got jump back, so he's able to cover super low, and he still had another jump, but yet again, forward throw, not going to be yeah, enough to do it. Good. And yet again, the air slash has such a large hitbox, Peach isn't going to be able to cover it. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. It's still do that, that's when I'm always planked with it. And again, here we go in speed art, trying to find his kill. Oh, gets him off stage. He has spare. There it is. Yeah. And yet again, like, as Peach, like, what are you going to try to do? Like, you could air dodge the stage. You can side beat the stage. You can try to go super low and try to upbeat, but yet again, it, all it takes is Komei to read where you're going to go once, and he gets that fair, and you're dead. Yeah, again, that float is a great option off stage, but against Shulk, it's just too slow. And again, here we go. Shulk's off stage. Okay, <laughs> snipe by the turn. his feet with the turn up there. Right. Komei holding legs just a little too long, but that fair kind of clears it out. Just getting that jump, that jump call out. Oh. Here we go. Still one. got some more games though. Oh yeah, it is one one apiece. That's right. Yeah, Razo of course having a lot of experience and Charlie as well with the. Shulk matchup. Right. They play Nico a lot in this matchup. Uh, and Nico, I don't, he's definitely top 10 on the PR. I don't remember the exact number. I believe he's like 10. He's 10? Something like that. Okay. 
Or no, no, I, I, I lied. I lied. He, he, you know, he's like fourth or fifth or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then never mind. It, 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 Nitro is ten. Oh, okay. Nitro is Nitro and Nico. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, very good with this character. So a lot of what Kome is seeing, I think, Brazo is prepared for, but Kome. Uh, he's gonna bring some new things to the table too. All right. And the way he plays this character is not necessarily going to be the same. Oh, I love that! Just the turnaround forward smash right there. Goes into uh, Smash R, trying to see if he can get a fair against Peach. He read the air dodge in and tries going for the bear instead, but you know what? Peach is able to just drift away from that a little bit too much, but getting it gets caught by that turnaround forward smash. Yeah, he hit him out of his float there. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. But yeah, again, shield mode. Uh, going to get Komi out, <laughs> Komi, Kome out of that, uh, that bad situation. Yo, shout outs to uh, one of the greatest mangas, uh, Komi san. Uh, that's such a wholesome, wholesome manga for those of you who want to watch something that's just like nice what, and wholesome. What have I done? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Wow. We're also using that back air to stuff out uh, Komi's approach. Again, it's so fast, and it is disjointed. It's not nearly the size of some of the shoulder tape boxes, but it's still able to stop what Komei wants to do. Right. But Razo can win neutral all he wants, but if he oh, doesn't take the stock... Yeah, I mean, yet again, you saw him try to drift away, but because he was in jump, you know, you got so much aerial mobility in jump, like he couldn't just drift away in quick enough, and he got hit with the fair and died at 70. Yeah, Razo uh, taking that stock also, he ended up behind Shulk's shield, which is uh, just a bad spot for Shulk to be in because uh, he doesn't have that many options. Actually, can he reverse a B out of shield? Yes. Okay, so that, I'm actually surprised Razo didn't get punished for that. You know? But uh, Peach's flow cancels aerials are so fast, it's, it's hard to react if you're not expecting it. I've seen uh, Razo go for the flow cancel nares uh, to pressure shield. Um, but, you know, it, it is risky for that reason. You can't just get out of the Yet again, you know, he parries it, tries to punish it with a dash attack, but you know what? There's so much range that on that back air that he had enough time and spacing to spot dodge it and get a quick up out of shield to take the stock. Right, Shulk's hitbox being so big that some, they, some of them are just unpunishable or extremely difficult to punish. I think in this game, it's really important to know what you can and cannot punish. Right. Uh, more so than in previous games, uh, because so much of the lag has been reduced for a lot of these moves. Like, a lot of smash attacks you'd expect to be uh, leaving more vulnerable. Uh, so, but in most cases, they're actually pretty fast. Right. I mean, I feel like in this game, a move that has like more than 10 frames of landing lag or like hits them like on the block is like a super lucky. Like, can we just talk about the fact that he just comboed up air into down air and did like 40 damage off of it? Like, okay, but as I was saying, like I was having a conversation with uh, Charlie the King the other day of how, how like moves that are like really good on shield, like they all universally have like less than 10 frames of landing lag on it. Meaning that unless you have like a frame like Six move that hits like a both a, uh, in front of you and behind you, which means uh, usually like an up B or a nair, maybe a fair or bear depending on your character. Like, like if you're Mario, you can probably just do a quick bear out of shield or nair. But then again, if you do not have one of those moves, you you're just not a good character in this game because like you can't deal with shield pressure. Yeah, I agree. And they slow down grab too. I mean, not in all situations they'll be able to use it. But, like, right. uh, and, uh, most of the time, your best option out of shield is, is jab. But if you're if they if your opponent gets behind you, then there's not a lot you can do. Right. I mean, best option is usually uh, up B if, if you have a good yeah, up if B. you have an up B. Yeah. Right. I, I was talking about the uh, character's tone. Right. 
And the triple fair going to San Rago off stage. He's gonna oh. get that trade with the fair, which is not gonna be good for him, but he still manages to get it back to stage. And uh, this is relatively doable. And I love that, not going for the second hay, you no know, mixing up how he's going to land. And Razo had a pick and guess, and he picked wrong. So yep, try again. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. And I love that using oh. the 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 jump bar to go super deep and using the up the air slash to kind of hit him back off, off stage. But there's that dude, that peach bear is so good. Like I I honestly think it's her best move. It is a really good move. It's a real that compared uh, combined with Nair just, it just uh makes it's just so fast and able to pressure you. Right. And the disjoint on that bear is just amazing. Yeah. The fact that like it hits like like I know it like it hits behind her, like that's the whole point, but like <laughs> the fact that like it hits like a good distance like in front of her means that you can't roll cross it up because it's so like quick that he can just throw out another one and it'll like it'll catch your roll anyways. So like you have to be super careful about how you approach Peach in the matchup and here we go, D's in Smash R and He's looking to end the game, end the winter finals right here, oh, right now, and there it is. And there it goes, that F smash. Yeah. Komei taking it over Razo. He's going result. to be sitting in winter final. Let's see who will challenge him. Right. So right now, we are going to loser semis with Master Mario versus Chag. Oh, Chag made it all the way to uh, semis. loser semis. Yep. Okay, yeah. He was looking pretty good against Razo. Um, but who he did eventually lose to. And uh, that was in winner's quarters. Yes. Yes, winner's quarters. Did, but did Chad play Razo in winner's quarters? I it might have been before that. Uh, Chad, okay, yeah. It, yeah, quarters. Quarters, okay. Yeah. Of course, yeah, 